This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. 15 minutes later, loaded with spare fuel for the return journey. The two bathtubs, as the Chinooks are nicknamed for their elongated shape, will land at a secret base in Afghanistan close to the Pakistani border, there to await further orders. The SEALs are headed toward a private compound near the town of Abbottabad, just under 200 miles away. Locals call it the Waziristan Palace for its enormous size. Footnote. Waziristan is a mountainous region of western Pakistan. End footnote. Located on Kakul Road in a middle-class section of Abbottabad known as Bilal Town, the acre-sized facility is surrounded by thick walls ranging in height from 10 to 18 feet tall. Solid steel gates cover each entrance. Several structures and a large open courtyard for raising animals and growing vegetables fill the space inside. The plan is for Chalk 1 to hover low over the courtyard. Seals on board will invade the compound by sliding down a system of thick ropes attached to a strong point inside the helicopter known as the Fries, Fast Rope Insertion Extraction System. Fast roping greatly resembles a fire pole descent, thus the leather gloves each man carries. Once on the ground, they will spread out and begin their search for tonight's target. Meanwhile, Chalk 2 will land just outside the compound walls. Cairo the dog, his SEAL handler Will Chesney, the CIA interpreter, and a small sniper team will disembark to provide perimeter security. They will seek out any approaching force or anyone trying to escape. One squad of SEALs will remain on board Chalk 2 at this time, then be flown into the compound, where they will fast rope onto the flat rooftop of the three-story main house. Unloaded, both helicopters will then fly to a designated location to await the order to return and pick up the combatants. Total time on the ground will be no more than 40 minutes. There are several buildings to infiltrate, but the main house is of greatest interest. It is thought that the Pacer, as the tall figure whom satellite cameras so often photograph strolling the grounds is called, lives in this structure. The SEALs will enter the residence seeking this man. If he chooses to come along peacefully, he will be bound and escorted into a helicopter for a flight to captivity. Should the homeowner prefer to fight, he will be shot dead. The weapon of choice for these SEALs varies by man, whether it be the Heckler & Koch HK-416 assault rifle, FN Mark 48 machine gun, or the H&K MP7 machine pistol that fires an armor-piercing cartridge. In addition, each man wears a holstered pistol, and no SEAL is ever comfortable unless he is carrying a very long and very sharp fixed-blade knife. The target on this warm, humid night is the notorious killer Osama bin Laden the 54-year-old terrorist mastermind of the 9-11 attacks on New York and Washington, D.C. Formerly named Osama bin Mohammed bin Awad bin Laden, he is six foot five with a long black and gray beard. Saudi Arabian by birth, the terrorist was born the son of a billionaire who died in a plane crash when Osama was just ten. Footnote. The father, Mohammed bin Awad bin Laden, was the wealthiest non-royal person in Saudi Arabia. He made his billions in construction as the official royal builder of Saudi Arabia, running an organization now known as the Saudi Bin Laden Group. He fathered 52 children by 22 wives. Osama Bin Laden inherited $30 million of his father's $5 billion fortune. End footnote. Bin Laden is known to be frugal and soft-spoken, but a strict father to the estimated 26 children he has fathered with his many wives. The terrorist is the most wanted man in the world. People everywhere know his face. There is nowhere he can go without being recognized. Raised in a world of privilege, he is driven by a deep hatred for America. Bin Laden has turned his back on the peaceful tenets of the Muslim religion, preferring to live a life dedicated to killing U.S. citizens. This has come at a cost. He spends his life on the run, 
taking extreme precautions to avoid being apprehended. But even from this remote hideaway, Bin Laden controls a vast...